make sure you check out VGR and DJ Joe. Link in the description down there at the end of the video. Hey, I'm Jason Cracknot, otherwise known as Joined by the Book, and Deku is finished. This is quite a fun one. I've never actually done or done any drawings from My Hero Academia, so Deku is actually the first one I drew. He's not my favourite character from the anime. Um, that title would go to All Might. I just find his character just very interesting to watch and everything. But Deku is definitely a close second. I do really enjoy his character. He is very well done, even if I don't like all his character development. I've got a weird kind of thing about My Hero Academia. I do really like the anime, I love the characters. There's just quite a bit which I hate about it as well, so it's not my favourite anime, but I certainly don't dislike it either. But I'll save that for another video since that deserves its own video to explain that. After I did the Marina and Marie talk through, I kind of want to do the same with this video. I want to start off the same way as I did last time and start off with the actual artwork. This one was a weird one for me actually because since I actually drew Deku's full body instead of like the Gone or Marina Pearl where I kind of left out their lower half or with Marina Pearl I left out their feet, you can't really see what they're standing on so for the background I could just do a couple of colours. So for the Marina and Pearl I did like the spotlight loop and then for Gone I just did his black and then power aura. But for Deku I started off doing that with his lightning but it, he didn't fit in because he wasn't standing on anything, so he just looked like he was floating there, which didn't look right. So I then drew a background for him, or painted the background for him, to make him fit in, but once again, he still just stood out a bit much, and just still didn't fit in. So that's why I then did the lightning pulsing around him, so that he then fitted in better with the background, and the lightning made more sense. However, I think that's what took me most of the time when it came to drawing, just because I spent so much time doing the background and working out so that Deku could actually fit in. If I didn't spend all the time doing that, I probably would have got this done so much faster. However, I still did get this drawing done in one or two sittings, so it wasn't that bad actually. I got it done quite well, and I did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun, just as I find a lot of my drawings very fun to do. The last thing I do want to talk about is none of the content on my social medias and that, and my YouTube, I am ever planning to hide or to make privatized. Just because I think it's very important just to show your mistakes and show your growth. Some of the bigger artists which I follow, they're like, oh, okay, I'm just going to archive this because I'm not happy with this and everything. Whereas I'm very much the case of like, no, show that. Show that you haven't done it right. Because I feel, I get so much more when artists are like, I haven't done this right this is why now I've done the improvements. Because to me, it's like, yeah, they also get stuff wrong. They're not perfect every time, which makes me feel better. Because then when I make the mistakes, I'm like, that's all right. That's okay to do, which I think is very important. Also, it kind of just shows your progress so people can actually see that, hey, they started out where I started or where I am right now and they have grown. It's kind of inspiring actually, and I do really like it, and I don't want to hide my content. I do want people to see that progress, so that they can maybe look back and be like, okay, he has made progress, he hasn't just done this overnight. And that's very important for art, for people to understand that. I don't think people quite get that, and people are very shy about showing work which they're not proud of, which I find kind of annoying and everything. I feel like you should very much show that so that people can see that progress. It might just be me though. But I do think it's important. So if you are an artist, don't be ashamed of your work. Show it. Let people see it. And if you make mistakes, don't worry about it. Learn where you made those mistakes. Learn where you went wrong. And then in the next drawing, improve that. Never in a drawing, if I make a mistake like later on, like in the sketch, fine, I'll try and change it. But later on, after I've done like the outlines, colouring and everything, I won't like spend like a bunch of time just trying to fix that mistake and get myself in a tizzle about it. Instead, I'll be like, okay, I made that mistake, keep a note of it. And then in the next drawing, if I'm doing a similar thing, I'll be like, right, that's a mistake I made last time. I'm not going to do that this time and fix it. Know where you went mistake and then improve it next time. Don't get in an absolute tizz about it, you know? But other than that, I think I'm going to end this here because I don't want to keep rambling over and over because the video that I've actually recorded for is only five to six minutes and I've just noted that I've been recording for 11 minutes. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.